Well, well, seems like someone's in a good mood. Did you know I was coming back, perhaps? <laughs> yes, I am back. I heard someone was missing me. I wondered who could that be. But yes, I am back. I apologize that I had to leave all of a sudden for... Well, let's just say I had business to attend to. And I didn't want to bring you with me, little Pat. For your own safety, of course. What else? But I am back now, and I just want to see how the restorations are going on the mansion since I have left. So let's see. Shall we take a walk, little Pat? Join me. You will be fine, don't worry. I won't bite immediately. Although... I might just have a little... Mm. <laughs> it's only a small scratch on your finger. You did seem to move away from me a little bit. Did I lose my touch? And you are actually wary of me. How exciting. I would love to tame you again. I have to make sure that after I have been gone for a while, you are properly introduced to my bites again. Oh well, it will be fun for sure. But right now, come, I want to see how the restoration works. Went down until I was away. And if the new office of mine is ready, I will need a place to work now that I am properly back. So let's see. Ah, yes. Seems like they made excellent progress. I will have to make sure that I will pay them extra when they finished. You know, some people just worth the money, and these workers definitely deserve it. They're doing a wonderful job. I am satisfied. Well, in this regard, of course. And let's see... Hmm, this could use a bit more color. Well, as in different. I wouldn't be caught dead with pastel colored walls. So, need more elegance, I think. Hmm? Hmm. I think I will make sure that the arrangements are made. What business? Hmm. Let's just say it's worth the time I have spent away. I will have a steady income as much as a reminder to other vampires not to mess with me. But let's not discuss this here. Let's see. Ah, here it is. My my brand new office. Char did an excellent job with this room. Please, have a seat, my dear. This part concerns you just as much as anyone else in the manor. Yes, with what I said about the vampires. I had to sort out Val's possessions, let's just say, just like her pawns. They had to be reminded a little bit on, let's just say, proper etiquette and their services. Well, in Val's name, I'm afraid I had to let them go. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. It doesn't matter, I suppose. What matter is that I am back and I will make sure to take excellent care of you. Just as much as this manner. Double security and hired some more. Oh, her? Why? Yes, well, as you remember, there have been a loads of casualties during the attack on the manor. We lost a few people who I couldn't get to fast enough. Zoe. She was one of them. Unfortunately, we have lost her amongst a couple of people. But she knew what she signed up when she joined. Yet. The manor is somehow empty without her. She will be missed. <laughs> no. She did an excellent job keeping the house in top shape and also keeping you safe until you to find me during the attack. Her sacrifice is not in vain, and neither people who give their life to protect the rest. 
I made sure to give them proper burial, and I saw that their families had been compensated for their loss. Although no money can replace someone, even in this twisted age that we live in right now, life is still more important and more valuable than anything else. Hmm. Maybe. With my age comes certain realizations too, little pet. I did my fair share of killing, of course, especially because years didn't mean anything to me for decades. But losing people who I cared for made me appreciate the humans a little bit more. And the vampires too. Do you remember what I told you during the fireworks? that they remind me of people who I met along the long life I had so far. Fireworks are like humans to us vampires. In our eyes, your life merely a moment. You shine bright for a second, then go out forever, never to be seen again. And all that is left is the cartridge in the ground. As a vampire, I'm used to this. Zoe. She should have lived way longer than this. This is one reason I wanted to get rid of Val once and for all, to avenge a vampire and the others she had killed to get to me, and you, because she got you too. <laughs> now I don't like sharing what is mine, especially not when it's my blood source. Insulting me with taking you hostage doing whatever she did to you. <laughs> Jealous? No. I hate when someone touches something that is mine. You wish for me to act jealous? Hmm? <laughs> I am protective, that is all. You are mine. So, naturally, I want what is mine to be untouched by anyone else. Let's just say I want my possessions to be only mine. There are things I want nobody else to have that nobody else could feel or lick or bite. Mm. Mm. Ah. I miss this, I must say. <laughs> I got so busy, I didn't have time to enjoy my meal. I just grab a quick bite. Oh. Don't worry. It's just a tiny scratch, but it is enough for me to draw blood and just start licking. And oh, you still taste really good, my dear little pet. I miss this. I missed your taste. From now on, nobody should touch you. Feel you, taste you, just me and me alone. Mm. <laughs> Let me just come here and just. Your eyes tell me so many things, little Pat. <laughs> oh, but they do. Right now. I can see that your eyes are getting a bit hazy. <sighs> did you start to see red because of my bite? Or did you miss me this much? <laughs> yeah, I do play dirty. I am a vampire after all. It's kind of my job to play dirty with little humans like you. I really enjoy it, I must say. Me? Sitting on your lap, feeling just how excited you got from my bite. 
Yeah, I enjoy messing with you, but you know this already. And you still decided to stay, so you're just as bad as me. And you just going to have to take it, little Pat. Oh, but don't worry. Mm. Mm. I will make sure to compensate you for my little cat and mouse game, as I always did. Well, I'm not gonna just leave you there, sitting alone, suffering from... Well... <laughs> Why don't you come and stand in front of me, hmm? Come on, I don't bite. Heart. <laughs> Very good, little pet. Good. Now, a question. <laughs> sure, ask me. I do enjoy messing with you to a point you don't know what to do with yourself. But I can move you around the way I want you to. And do what I want to. And so far, you enjoyed this too. You enjoyed being dominated by me, didn't you? Little pet, now be honest with yourself. That's why you came back to me. That's why you carried me when I couldn't walk and put me down when I asked you to. Although you are getting more bored. But I like when you try. You're not going to win, but... It's adorable when you try and be bossy with me. It makes me giggle how you want to dominate a vampire. A human. But also makes me wonder a little bit. Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> that is my secret to keep. Maybe one day I will tell you, little pet. But now, I want to enjoy this moment right now. I did miss your taste. <sighs> yeah, you know, this isn't excite just you, you know. I love playing with you, messing you up. Uh, and just make you crazy for me. Well, well, aren't you taking initiative, little pet? <laughs> Nice try, but this won't work on me. <laughs> what is it? Did you only notice that I had my legs wrapped around you? I have a few tricks up my sleeves. So tell me now, little pet, what you want, hmm? Tell me... And what you want to do with me. Well, why don't you ask nicely? Ask for it. Ask for it and I might consider it. You're lucky I don't make you bag. <laughs> don't push it, little pet. If you want to so bad, why don't you get on your knees, hmm? Get on your knees and ask for it, like a good little pet. Louder. Louder. Say it like you mean it. <laughs> good, good, excellent. Now come here. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't say you can touch anything now, did I? Naughty little pet gets punished. Oh, this. 
I had it for a while now. You need to pay more attention, little Pat. So, because you were naughty, I want you to take your clothes off. Is there a problem? Maybe you need a little bit of persuasion. <laughs> Maybe this will give you a push in the right direction. Take your clothes off.